friends, an unexpected interruption from me. This is just to let you know that episode 3 has actually been divided into two parts because it actually became a bit too long. I really don't want to post Let's Plays that exceed 30 minutes, so episode 3 will be divided into 3A and 3B. And that is what you're going to see. So this week, I hope you enjoy episode 3A. I'm sorry for this unexpected message. But yeah, I had a bit too much fun playing this week's episode. Hi, I'm Weezer, for those of you who don't know me. And this is We Sims, an online community where I help you explore simulation games like The Sims in a fun, interactive, educational kind of way. If you're new here and like this kind of content, please be sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, I really appreciate it. So today is episode three of our Sims 4 Legacy Challenge with Jane Fisher, so the Fisher family legacy. And if you have missed our first few episodes, I will link a playlist in the corner for you to check that out if you haven't. And if you want to learn how to do a legacy challenge of your own, I will link now another little card up here to a legacy challenge playlist on how to actually get started and all the ins and outs of doing a legacy challenge. We are going to be picking it up today from our single point uh, that we have been holding on to for the last two weeks. So although it hasn't gone up, we haven't gotten the penalty for it to come down yet. We should be expecting our first bulls fairly soon and we should probably also try and really get some good money going at this point so that we can really move forward and get our loan paid back so that we can actually move on with our lives and continue the whole legacy aspect. Um, of having a family and things like that. So without further ado, let's get into episode three of the Sims 4 Legacy Challenge. Hello Jane, I've missed you. Oh, and you are still very embarrassed. That's okay, you at least have a fridge now. You don't have to be embarrassed about that. So still a poser, fresh air, loaning, loaning, a loner. An imminent family bonding so this is going to be an issue i'm not sure are there any like opportunities for sims who don't have families when it comes to the the what's the name of this thing winter fest are there are there any like opportunities for for sims who don't have families in this because i'm really not sure and i'm really worried that she's gonna have a very bad day and that's going to impact her poorly and the fruitcake is still offensive that's fine It'll be out of your system shortly. She's just hiding. She's not even looking after her needs. Okay, let's just... I think you can probably make a salad in the meantime. So over here, one of the things I think that'll help us just to move along here so we can get more satisfaction points is to mount or bowl five fish. So whatever the next four fish are that we catch, I'm just going to mount or bowl them. Um, whether or not they go up in our walls is another story. But... Oh, she's cutting us off. Okay. Please don't hurt yourself, Jane. I did get a fire alarm. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that would have been stressful. Ah, oh, she's having a meal. It's just so exciting. And it's poor quality, but I mean, that's fine. You don't need it to be fancy quality. You just need to be able to fill your hunger bar. And then we can put that away. I'm worried to give you that fruit cake again for it to make you uncomfortable. But even if you aren't comfortable, we're now at the point in our fishing skill where it doesn't matter for us to get uncomfortable. Oh, what are you doing? Play in the rain, that's adorable! Oh, that was... You're inside. That, there's no rain inside. Wait, have I forgotten to put a roof on? No, 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 no. I know I put a roof on. Why are you playing in the rain inside? Great time in the rain. Happy plus two. Jane is drenched, but is having a blast in the rain. That's great. Does it count as a shower? Because if it did, that would be highly, highly convenient. It's 7pm, but you have enough energy, and I think let's go fishing. I realize that there's a shortcut and I, and I don't have to keep going to the phone to travel so that's been awesome. You can just press M. So let's go back to this park. Oh my gosh it's snowing here. Is it a blizzard? It's freezing and it's heavy snow. I really don't want you to freeze here and, and possibly um, lose your life. I don't think that that's worth it. Let's go to another neighborhood. Oasis Springs. Are there places where you can fish here? At the desert theme park, okay. Also, another question my ignorance is showing here is there a way to check like the weather in other places? Okay, it's just raining here, that's fine. It's cool with the chance of rain, that's fine. You like the rain, you like being outdoors. Let's see if examining the water will actually do something now because it hasn't in the past. Get water. Oh, are you thirsty? 
I'm sorry, I thought we were taking care of your needs. Where are you getting water from the tap? She's just drinking a glass of water, that's extremely random. Did you even look at the water? Like the real body of water where we need to go fishing? Let's go examine and then go fish. Ooh, it looks like the party is pumping in this pond. Nothing actually came out of it, she did that interaction. Yeah, no response, which is fine. And she's caught minnow with seven simoleons. Let's just mount it right here, right now. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't need to be anything special. Perch mounted as well. Another perch, okay. So minnow and perch seems to be what's happening at this pond. Four, and then we're almost all the way here. Trout worth 23. Okay, let's mount you and we have completed our milestone. We're now on real smart. This one wants to know everything about fishing. So catch five fish using bait, make six great catches and achieve level six. So we're almost at achieving level six, but make six great catches. Click on nearby fishing signpost to go fishing. Sims improve their chance to catch bigger and better fish with a higher fishing skill. Great catches. Mm, does that count as like the excellent stuff we've been catching? Um, hmm. We'll see now. Okay. And then catch five fish using bait. Flowers, fruit, or even other fish. I think we could use fish as bait for other fish. This, is that a minnow? Yes. Okay, let's try that. Fish with bait. Let's use minnow because that is sometimes known as the feed of fish. Yes. The smallest species have a big place in nature's food chain. These are different descriptions. Cool. One of the other things I realized is that I'm probably not going to be making use of the celestial crystal crown helmet thing just yet. I think in the grand scheme. Oh, that was a big boy. Oh, Jane has caught a new fish. Tuna. Caught by small fish. Okay. Sometimes known as feeder fish. Yes. Tuna. It's common, but tuna are rather common and rather large in general. Enjoy as a large portion sashimi or as a large decorative on a small mount. Cool, we got a large fish. That's gonna be impressive to mount. With 52, what else might there be out there? Jane ran out of minnow to use this bait. She will continue fishing without bait. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it makes six great catches. So that being excellent, I believe. Yeah, means it's a great catch. So she really should get there in no time. Can I unmount a fish? No, I can't unmount a fish. Okay, but we, we caught something with bait. Now you're getting tired. Treasure! Real treasure? An upgrade part. Hmm, we should probably start working on our handiness as well because there are some places if we want to complete the fish collection that require like a level 10 handiness skill to access, like Forgotten Grotto or something like that. Okay, she's quite tired. She caught a guppy with seven. Okay, right now we're just working to get the skill bar up. Oh, but that wasn't a great catch. Why wasn't that a great catch? What is it? Excellent. What is a great catch qualifier? So chicken. Hmm. What is it? It's bigger. So that's a big fish. What's that? Trout. Oh, no, it's not. It's medium. Oh, so maybe a great catch is only big fish. I think we can probably just go home. You're getting very tired now. I need the bathroom. I hope it's not snowing in Dalsol Valley. Or if it is, at least, and we'll be able to see if there's any, if the tent has actually been helping. Let's we'll go to the bathroom, fertilize the bush, and go sleep. Oh. Revolting bush. The bush has been used before, but someone didn't flash. Oh no, it's winter fest. <sighs> okay. Decorate. Jane loves this tradition from being family oriented. The perfect bit of color and decor to participate, place holiday decorations. I don't think I want to spend money on decorations at this point. What's this? Festive spirit. Be festive and be jolly. Use festive socials. Okay, that's cool. We can do that with other sims. We could possibly still do that. Open presents. Don't know where we're gonna find a pile of presents. Cook a grand meal. Let's do that. Let's cook a grand meal. Why is it on sale? <gasps> fish dinner. Use fish. Ah, we have fish. Have we got fish for you? It'll cost 40 because we already have two fish. So that brings on the price. We can shower. Jim, no, it's fine. Just go cook a grand breakfast. Grand fish dinner. I think it's 11.30. Who's judging? I'm not. I've had many things for breakfast that probably don't count as breakfast. Okay, so she's seasoning it. That's quite cute. Oh, she did not. Yeah. We need your hands. We don't have insurance. Okay. I'm not going to judge because that exact thing has happened to me. I don't know how much of my family watches this, but if my sister is watching, she's probably laughing very hard right now because I've done that to a grand family meal and dropped an entire pot of pepper on a piece of meat. I haven't cut myself though. Oof, that hasn't happened. This is such a painful experience. I'm so sorry, Jane. Pan frying it. Interesting. Nice. At least if you... Yeah. 
yeah, that's, that's relatable. Maybe we can invite some people over. Oh, I'm actually getting quite dirty now. We will shower oh, now. Orba. Yes, finish your meal so that we can eat, so that you can stop being so hungry. Is this what happens when a level one chef tries to, to cook a grand meal? Is it any good? That looks terrible. Well, it's poor quality. That's fine. Wait, no, don't grab. Not call to meal. Invite these people. Greet them all. Maybe that'll help. Friendly. Be friendly. I know you're stinky, but it's fine. We're gonna go to the gym now to go shower. And then call to meal. Can I do that? Surely I can do that. Do I have to bring you all into my lot? Okay. Now, call to grand meal. Maybe we can still do this, guys. We can still do a winter fest. We don't have a fireplace. Yay, people are coming for our grand meal. This poor quality grand meal, that's fine though. Okay, and then what else? So this is, we're trying to fulfill this. What? Maybe I can give you a fish. Let me give you fish. I'll give you some mounted perch as a, as a gift because we are being festive. Complain now that everything is a sing. Oh, you didn't like that? But that's fine. You didn't. Why didn't you like the gift? I fished. Oh, yay! Okay, this was not as hard as I thought. Level one of singing. Okay, that's enough. You're not gonna decorate, you don't have money for that. We're busy with the grand meal. Okay, I think that's fine. Yes, can I say goodbye? We're gonna go shower now. Is there a gym here? Yes, there's a gym in Dalsal, but up and coming hotspot. Huh. Interesting lot trait. Toral for Pick Major, Pick Minor. Sorry, I will not drop anatomy jokes into this. Why are you sad? Oh, unappreciated gift. Try to give something nice. To be something nice, but some things just don't seem to be appreciated. I agree. He's mean. The these showers. I hope that you don't get embarrassed from these showers. Because it doesn't seem to be like there's much privacy. Oh, and eating poorly made food. Okay, I need. Oh yeah, change out of towel. Cute, okay. I'm gonna go here. You're from Sulani, aren't you? And now you're cursing. Why are we cursing? I'm so confused about what's happening. No, don't go work out. You don't need to work out. But you're wearing your next outfit now, so that's cute. Is this a... Let me see how you... Oh, you look pretty in real life. Okay, let's go fishing. And we'll come back to the Desert Bloom Park. This weather is definitely fine. Sunny and cool. That's cool. I mean, it's literally cool, but... Fish with bait? Let's use a guppy. A guppy is a small fish, so maybe it will get us something else. The big boy hen. <gasps> oh, it's the cichlid! Oh, thank goodness. I was really getting anxious about this fish and that it was already in our note. But you see, it's counting as a new fish, which means it was an issue. Actually, it was a glitch in our um, big notebook. Cichlid is caught by small fish and they span a wide range of body sizes so no one size fits all for this kind so it is exactly the same one we know it's caught by small fish now yeah that that was really giving me some anxiety that was already in our book but now we've caught it and she's ran out of guppy i want to mount it it's very pretty tetra a new fish jane has got a new fish tetra Tetra is a small freshwater fish with a compressed shiny body and distinctive fins. We can be caught up. Okay, that's cool. We're catching new fish without bait. But we are improving our skills significantly here. Oh, yes! Jane has reached fishing level 6 and can now catch rainbow fish from fishing spots where they're found. As a respected fisherman with knowledge to share, Jane can share fishing tips to help other sims improve their angling. Jane can now use up to four fish traps at a time and can also catch the elusive half moon fighting placket. That sounds like one of those island living fish. I've realized that if we want to complete the fish collection, we're probably gonna have to do some deep sea fishing in island living as well. Catch a different kind of fish. More cichlid. Okay, so this is where we catch cichlid. I might actually just have to get a spouse just to help now in this initial stage. Future cube. Okay, we've gotten one of you before. A koi fish. Okay. 
koi. It can be caught without bait. It's common. Koi is actually a shortening of nishiki goi, meaning brocaded carp, a pretty name for a fishy prit. A pretty name for a pretty fish. That is very pretty. Cool. Okay, now we can go to the bathroom. <gasps> it's for the winter! Oh my god, it's for the winter! Why are you here? There's no fireplace! Maybe you'll give me a present. Okay, greet him. Greet him. But then, but then go to the bathroom quickly. Um, can you give me a present? <laughs> it's probably not the right question. Call him over. This is so cool, Clement Frost. You're an adult. She looks so elderly. Interesting. Um, okay, I'm not gonna ask for a present. That's a bit forward. I mean, I know I said I wanted to ask for a present. What are you doing? Why is he gone? Oh, he's gone. Maybe. Maybe I should have just asked for a present straight up. <sighs> Who knows what could have happened. Oh, there's a fireplace here. This is why he came. This is good to know. But what a nice park. Oh, that would have been so cool. We could have gotten a present to like sell the present, but I mean, it disappeared so quickly. I guess I just went to the bathroom at the exact wrong time, which is fine. You just go sleep. You just go sleep. Vlad, I just wanted to welcome you to the community and my, that's a lovely neck. Vlad, if you interrupt my sleep, I'm not gonna be happy because you wanna bite my neck. Winterfest was successful, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I was really concerned that we were gonna have a bad one. Yes, happy plus three, excellent holiday from Success Sleep Nation holiday. Wow, yesterday was an amazing holiday for Jane. She got to do all the traditions that she loves and then some. What a wonderful memory to cherish. Oh, we're outside in a thunderstorm. Please don't get electrocuted. This is about to be spoiled. It's about to be spoiled. So we can just get some leftovers here, I think. A TV season premiere. Where are we gonna find a TV? Oh, there's a huge premiere for a new show on TV today. Be sure to watch it soon to avoid any spoilers from other Sims. It's really nice, I'll be honest. Like, I wasn't expecting this much from The Sims. What's that? Is this just a random re element? Oh, wait a minute. Did the thunder and lightning bestow a rare element on our lot? This is cool because look, there's this like charring around it. Maybe we should study it first. That's studying it. Hmm. Yes, that is how we study, is it not? Okay. Yes. Oh, I feel focused from studying it. Oh, I didn't actually learn much about it. But I'm going to claim it then. Starting an element collection. That's cool. If I'm not focused, I think that that means something good for my fish. But it's focusing decor, which is great, and I think I can just study it anytime I need to get focused. So let's see how our needs are looking. I think we're quite fine. Maybe just get something else to eat again. Hello, I'm contacting you on behalf of Beef Fit as a Fiddle Co. And Mortimer Goth, what are you doing? Okay. We'd like to send you a free sample of our newest product, Hits Earbuds. If you would like to buy more, we accept online orders through the computer. We also make a treadmill rock climbing wall and offer fitness videos via your TVs. Be well. I want free earbuds. I've used these before to add to our moodlets so that we can be very of whatever the emotion is that they are part of. I really need to get money though. This is... Ah, another thunderstorm. Oh, I'm glad that we have an indoor space. But let's go somewhere where there's a TV and a fishing pond. I don't know if those are going to coexist, but we can try. Orchid Go-Go. Also, I think I'm in hotspot. Let's go there, see if there's a TV. Probably is. Go watch some TV. Get our holiday completed for the day. There's a giant TV watch season premiere. That's what I want to do. Hello, Dennis Kim. Let's chat so that you don't freak me out. Oh, Sims 3 World Adventures. Sims 3 World Adventures actually scared me a bit. We're watching the season premiere. Can you sit and watch over here? Must be stand. That's inappropriate. Hello, chat with Kayla. Okay, we can chat. Oh, the Sims 3 ambitions. You could be a firefighter, I remember. Oh. Am I chatting to celebrity? Why are you? Oh, she is a celebrity. That's why fans are freaking out. Okay, so we've completed this. That's all I really wanted to achieve from this. Maybe I should just go try fishing somewhere else. I think I want to try out Sulani. 
let's see how it's going there. Fishing, I know, we've got a huge update in general. Ohan Ali Town, once a tiny fishing camp that was nestled between tropic jungles and calm lagoon waters, Ohan Ali Town has become one of the most bustling areas of Sudani developing into the main town of the region, has not changed the deeply rooted sense of co community and a strong sense of connection to the island traditions. Let's go fishing here at this beach. Maybe we could also set a fish trap, but I do wonder how much money it requires to get there. Okay, it's raining here, that's fine. See, can I just take this? Okay, I can sit here and then I can fish. Oh, let's go sit on the canoe. This is so cute. Okay, you get into your swimwear. Okay, that's cool. It's not too cold. She's very focused. Ooh, cool. She's surpassed her. She's very happy. Surpassed all expectations. Jane's mind is blown right now. The twists and turns that came out of nowhere. And when the lead betrayed her mother like that, Jane can't wait to share these spoilers. Don't be one of those people. Okay, so you're on this random person's canoe. Now you can fish. Go fishing. Sail around. Let's fish with bait. Let's use our guppy. This is very exciting. Ah! This is beautiful. Let's see if we can get a screenshot here. Sulani, wow, this is a really lovely world. Oh, okay. Um, I am kind of missed that. Oh, very confident now. Um, start with the fish. Jane has caught a new fish, red-tailed black shark. A shark. Don't be a real shark. A rare shark. A small fish with a big name. <laughs> also known as a red-tailed shark minnow. Ooh, very, very cool. It's worth 41, okay, and it's caught by guppies, and she ran out of guppy now, but that's fine. Very confident, she caught an amazing catch, that was a really big fish, impressive, okay? So, bigger means amazing, I've learned this now. Let's fish with bait, Tetra, let's use you. Your comments, so maybe I can get some more. This black, this shrimp, I'm gonna mount you, I want you on my limited wall space. Oh, that looks new. Is that Nemo? Is that a clownfish? An a neon, oh, it's the neon angel fish. Interesting. This is the one that we learned about very long ago and I was very um, reluctant because I've never heard of it. Common neon shinier, glossier than your garden variety angel fish. Caught about bait. Cool, but we use, we're using bait, aren't we? Caught, oh, we're not using bait. We're still using the non bait. But I want to use bait just so we can progress here yeah, and bait will also probably give us bigger fish. Mounted fish. I'll mount another fish now. Oh wow, there's the koi. And there's our neon angel fish. I'll mount you, I'll mount that. Why are none of these counting as this mount? The system's broken, I'm sorry. It's such a pretty fish, I'm just taking so many screenshots of it. But I did get a notification for it. Oh, it was being for this. Jane has caught a new fish, a parrotfish. I believe this is the parrotfish. Yes. Caught by small fish. It's uncommon. Parrotfish are colorful and voracious herbivores that spend up to 90 herbivores, but I used a small fish to catch you. I'm gonna ignore that. And that spend up to 90% of the day eating algae of coral reefs with their beak-like teeth and they defecate sand keeping beaches beachy. Interesting. The environment's a wild place. Definitely mounting this. And that was a large catch. These large catches tend to come, it seems, from the bait. Tuna again. What small fish can I use now? Can I use tuna as bait? What big fish will I get if I use tuna? Ooh, chilled from being cold due to temperature. And need the bathroom. Okay, we're not actually getting any more bait. So I think go to the bathroom and the rain hasn't been making me happy so why do she sometimes happy with the rain and sometimes not? I'm very happy to continue fishing here. This rain is not the worst thing. Fish with bait. Can I use the tuna? I'm gonna use this tuna. I wanna see what huge fish we can actually get by fishing with a big fish already. That's a fast swimmer. Wow. I am not a good swimmer just on a personal note. I, I will be honest. I'm actually somewhat hydrophobic, like if I was a Sims 3 sim, hydrophobic would be one of my traits. It never always was like that. Oh, what's that? Oh, what? Jane has reeled in a leopard shark, an endangered, protected species of fish. Keeping this fish is illegal and could result in consequences, but a less ethical fisherman might be tempted to keep such a rare and valuable specimen. This is so intriguing endangered fish oh, i don't think i feel comfortable keeping this a less ethical fisherman i feel like jane holds herself to a, a relatively like decent ethical and moral standard and to keep a leopard shark 
I remember reading somewhere that the endangered fish don't count towards your collection. All it would be really is a thing on my wall and um, that doesn't really feel worth it. She caught it so she knows she's cool enough to catch it but yeah, I don't really feel comfortable keeping an endangered fish. But I think I'm gonna release the fish. Oh cool, she gets a good reputation. And that's a great catch. So I released it, so that means it should it should disappear. Why is it there? We all saw that I released it, right? Why is it there? That's the leopard shark. This is so glitchy. Let me just read about it. Leopard shark caught by organic, natural and edible. There is a fish out there that will eat it. Harmless to humans, the leopard shark is caught by commercial and recreational fisheries for food and the aquarium trade. Andre. I'm sure about why it's still in my inventory. I can't access it, so it's kind of just there. Discus. Cute. Looks like a disc. Discus is uncommon due to their distinctive shape and bright colors. Discus are popular as freshwater aquarium fish. Aquarium. I wonder if Jane would have an aquarium one day. That would be cool, like if when she eventually got enough money, would she just have an aquarium? What's this? Amazing catch. That was a really big fish. Impressive. Great. And that was how much? Plus two. Happy, happy from fresh air friend of the fish from releasing an endangered fish today jane allowed a caught fish to return to its fish family why is it still in my inventory this one i can touch though that's fine it'll just be a reminder and she's in complete solitude here and the season premiere is past all expectations so i think we're gonna have a nice inventory from that tomorrow your needs was doing really well a goldfish of all places that there are goldfish goldfish are out here interesting Ooh, Jane has caught parrotfish, okay. And I'm actually on my way there. Achieve level 10. Wait, is this the final level of angling ace? Yes, this is the final level. Clear 20 types of fish, so I've caught 16 different things. Jane has caught the heart of Sulani. What? A what now? I've caught a heart. This looks like something from um, Moana. Like, what is it? The heart of Tafiti or something like that. It's common. Jane has caught a clownfish. Yay! Nemo! Common. 30 species are recognized, one in the genus Premnus, while the remaining are in the genus Amphiprion. In the wild, they all form symbiotic mutualisms with sea anemones. Depending on species, anemone fish are overall yellow, orange, or reddish, or blackish color, and may show white bars or patches. This is actually very educational. I hope that this isn't fiction, because I feel like I'm learning something here. But you caught a new type of fish, and therefore we are on our way to getting this and then we'll just be getting to level 10. This is very cool. And then we'll get the reward trait of Angler's Tranquility. Sims with Angler's Tranquility will find that all of their problems seem to melt away when they're fishing. That's nice. I look forward to that. But now level 7. Jane can now catch the angler fish which lurks in the deepest of waters. <gasps> Master fishermen may now share some insider secrets on the way to find the rarest of fish when asked about secret fishing spots. Jane has become more adept at deep sea fishing and can now catch the coveted bluefin tuna. And I caught an angelfish. Angelfish. A lovely small fish, perfect for showing off and keeping other fish on their best behavior. That's very cute. I think just starting to get a bit hungry. Let's go home. I must say it's a little bit wild that I can just like pop over to Sulani and then just like pop back home. Like the realism is, is quite hilarious. So this has been a very, very eventful time. Where's my bush? That's not my bush. Does anyone know where my toilet bush went? Because there is only a charred area on the ground with this ash. Oh my word, there was the thunderstorm and lightning storm and it got rid of my bush, my 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 toilet that's terrible i go for a lovely outing in sulani and this is what waits for me okay fine we'll throw away our toilet this is not at all what i was uh, looking forward to so yeah go have something to eat wow you really don't have a toilet now tv season premiere was awesome jane had a wonderful time and got to do everything she planned to do that's great that should make us happy for nine hours. Excellent holiday from successfully finishing our holiday. Wow, Jane, yesterday was an amazing holiday for Jane. She got to do all the traditions that she loves and, and, and then some. What a wonderful memory. So that's cool. So yeah, I'm really hoping that that's a 
that carries on. Winter's nearly done and we've survived. <gasps> okay. 